everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about male and female reproductive systems. Humans reproduce sexually. The human reproductive system consists of the male and the female reproductive system. What are the organs involved in the systems? Both male and female reproductive systems are very important. Married couples cannot produce offsprings if any of their reproductive system malfunctions. Let us study the structure of the male and the female reproductive systems. The diagram shows the structures of the male reproductive system. The testes produces sperms and male sex hormones, for example the testosterone. The scrotum is a sac of skin to enclose and protect the testes. The testes in the scrotum hang outside the male's body to maintain a temperature slightly 2 degrees Celsius lower than the body temperature, which is essential for the production of healthy sperms. The sperm duct or vas deferens is a muscular tube that transports the mature sperms from the testes to the urethra. Seminal vesicle secretes nutritional fluid that helps the sperm to swim. Meanwhile, the prostate glands secrete semen, a fluid containing sperms and provide nutrients for the sperms. The urethra is a tube which transports semen and urine out of the body at different times. Penis is an organ which releases sperms into the vagina of the female during copulation. The diagram shows the structures of the female reproductive system. This is the ovary. Every woman have a pair of ovaries. The ovaries produces ovum and female sex hormones which are the estrogen and the progesterone. The fallopian tube is a narrow and muscular tube which connects the ovary to the uterus. The uterus or womb is a pear-shaped organ with thick muscular wall where the embryo is implanted and develops during pregnancy. Cervix is a ring of muscles at the lower end of the uterus. It secretes mucus which helps the movement of sperms into the uterus. The vagina receives the sperms from penis and during sexual intercourse also serves as a birth canal. Puberty is the early stage of maturity of the reproductive system during which an adolescent becomes sexually mature. During puberty, the mature reproductive system in adolescents produce reproductive cells and start to stimulate the production of certain sex hormones. Sex hormones cause the body to change from that of a child to an adult. Puberty is when a child's body begins to develop and change as they become an adult. Girls begin to menstruate and boys may have wet dreams. The average age for girls to attain puberty is 10 to 12 years old, while for boys it's about 14 to 17 years old. Some of the physical changes that occurs in males during puberty are penis and scrotum enlarge, facial hair starts to grow and hair appears in the pubic region and armpits, growth of mustache and beard, muscles start to grow bigger and stronger, growth spurts or accelerated height and weight gain, broadening of the chest and shoulders, the larynx or the vocal cord enlarge and deepening of the voice. Some of the physiological changes that occur in males during puberty are testes produce sperms and male sex hormones. 
the other is ejaculation if semen begins. Some of the physical changes that occur in females during puberty are breasts and uterus enlarge, their hips become firm and broader, and hairs appear in the pubic region and armpits, more fat deposits under the skin, growth spurts or accelerated height and weight gain. Some of the physiological changes that occur in females during puberty are ovary produces mature ovum and female sex hormones such as the estrogen and the progesterone. Menstruation and ovulation begin and they start to release a mature ovum every month. The comparison between the male and the female gametes. The female gametes are called the ovum or the egg cells, while the male gametes are called the sperms. Both ovum and sperm contain nucleus that carries genetic information to be transferred to the offspring. The head of the sperm contains the nucleus that carries the genetic information. The middle part of the sperm contains mitochondria, which provide energy for the movement of the tail. The long tail helps the sperm swim towards the ovum. An ovum is spherical in shape with a diameter of about 120 micrometers. The cytoplasm in the ovum contains nutrients for the developing embryo. The sperm and the ovum may have some similarities and some differences. Both of them carry genetic information and both of them are reproductive cells. Even though they both are reproductive cells, they might be differ in a few aspects. The sperm shaped like a tadpole, meanwhile the ovum is spherical in shape. The sperm is being produced by the testes, meanwhile the ovum is being produced by the ovaries. The sperms are able to move, meanwhile the ovum cannot move by itself. The sperm can exist for about 3 to 4 days, meanwhile the ovum can only exist for 1 to 2 days. The sperm is the smallest cell in the male's body, meanwhile the ovum is the largest cell in the female's body. Thank you for watching. See you again in our next lesson.